The ground floor rooms of Barrington Hall are hosting Oliver Jones's large pastel works. Taking their place on the walls, replacing certain pictures, the pastels establish a dialogue with their surroundings. In the marble hall, the large hashtag mother and child represents a young mother tenderly holding her baby while also looking at her mobile phone. The image uses the iconic motif the Madonna and child, but the scene is backlit by the screen of that most contemporary of devices, the mobile phone. The work raises questions about intimacy and the distractions of modern life. Hiding amongst the furnishings of the old library, two small pictures gaze out to either side of the fireplace. They refer to a much larger picture we will encounter later. The monumental divine occupies the whole back wall of the imposing dining room and again, with its iconic triptych structure, the form is reminiscent of religious paintings or altarpieces. The central figure furthers the reference to art history as it borrows from the ancient Greek figure of Loakoan, regarded as an icon of human suffering. The work refers to the increasing trend of tattoos and extreme procedures. This quest for individuality at all price marks a reaction to escalating standardization. Three steps to younger looking skin hangs in Lady Corley's room, where the doyenne of the family used to sit and listen to the wireless well into her tenth decade. The work comments on that most taboo of physical characteristics, old age. In the logic of beauty at all price, old age has effectively become synonymous with the ultimate imperfection. Landscape in Pink is the most recent work in the exhibition and sees Jones focusing, almost to the point of abstraction, on that surface of our bodies that separates us from the world we inhabit, our own skin. The business room was traditionally used by the men of the family to discuss administration of the estate. Care for physical appearance isn't traditionally accepted in the realm of masculinity, and men increasingly use procedures like Botox and hair dyes. Beyond Natural hangs amongst the ultra-feminine decor of the boudoir. Referring back to the once ubiquitous Barbie doll that generations of little girls grew up with, the work comments on an unattainable form of feminine ideal. The pre-cosmetic surgery marks on the doll's face humorously suggest that there is no limit to the quest for perfection. Amongst the gilded furnishings of the grand drawing room, Gold Leaf Mask 2 and Get Red That Lasts comment on the beauty products merchandising that is relentlessly broadcast on the internet, social media and advertising in order to conform to the standards of acceptability within society. For more information and other projects, visit us at meadowarts.org.